Hi, and welcome to Oregon State University. I'm Agali Sanchez, and I'm a junior, and I'm from Woodburn, Oregon, and I'm majoring in Ethnic Studies. Hello, everyone. My name is Marlon Mejia. I'm a senior from Portland, Oregon. I am studying Business Information Systems. We'd like to show you around Oregon State University. Are you ready, Migali? Yeah. Here at the heart of campus is the Memorial Union, or the MU. It's where I work in addition to being a student. Whether you're looking to stop for lunch, study, or go bowling with your friends, the MU is a great place to hang out. Inside here is the MU Lounge, a quiet and welcoming space where many students stay when they need to focus. In addition to the Valley Library, it's a great place to read, study, or just relax between classes. The center of your student life starts here in the resident halls. There are 15 different student housing halls on campus, all with varying features to ensure there's a fit for everyone here at OSU. This here is the newest residence hall on campus, the William Tebow Hall, named after the first African-American student who graduated from Oregon State back in 1948. There are plenty of resources for students of all different cultures and backgrounds here at Oregon State. We have a wide array of cultural centers for our students, which is a university feature that's unique to OSU. On our campus, you'll find the Native American Longhouse, the Lonnie B. Harris Black Cultural Center, the Central Cultural Cesar Chavez, the Asian and Pacific Cultural Center, the Etihad Cultural Community, the OSU Pride Center, and the Women's Center. I work as the center coordinator here at the Native American Longhouse Inahas. Just like all the rest of the cultural centers, the Longhouse exists to promote and retain our different cultures, as well as to provide everyone with the opportunity to develop a deeper understanding of these backgrounds. Students are welcome to attend the events these centers host, access their libraries and tutoring services, or simply stay and hang out. A common misconception about these cultural centers is that you have to be a part of a specific race or ethnic background to visit their respective cultural center. The truth is that all students of any background are welcome and encouraged to come be a part of these different organizations. Dixon Rec Center is where you come to train and work out as a student. Along with Student Legacy Park, there are plenty of settings where students can focus on staying in shape all year round. Intramural teams are a great option for students who want to play sports. Oregon State is well known for being a strong engineering school, and Kelly Engineering Center is where our engineers call home. From sky bridges and research labs to awards for green building design, the College of Engineering is just one example of how OSU stays on the cutting edge. Students of multicultural backgrounds pursuing science and engineering degrees should keep an eye out for organizations such as NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, or LSAMP, which aims to improve the quality of education for traditionally underrepresented students. As a student on campus, you'll quickly find that some buildings have a rich history behind them. Benton Hall, OSU's music building, was built back in 1888. Weatherford Hall was built in 1928, but today it's been renovated to feature student housing student business labs, a cafe, and more. Well, this brings us to the end of our campus tour. Hopefully you get a better idea as to how to get involved as a student here at OSU. And don't be afraid to come say hi if you ever see us on campus. Oregon State is a great community and I look forward to seeing you guys join us.